this is paradise. We are here today at Ferro Blanco in Marathon Key and it is gorgeous. That is a beautiful lighthouse. Wait, 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 wait. And we have found parrotfish. These are unimaginably beautiful and we are just so happy to be here today. We're going to check out the pools. There are two. We are going to enjoy the most beautiful sunset in the world, in my opinion. And we're just gonna relax. It's been a long couple of months and we deserve this vacation. So let's have some fun. Farah Blanco is one of the first luxury resorts in the Keys. It changed ownership in 2020 and has a modern feel. There are dining areas where you can have breakfast. There is also several bars on property and they have a snack shop because when you're in the Keys, you might have forgotten something you need. So here you go. It has 125 rooms, 70 slips, and was just announced to undergo renovations including expanding the pool area with water slides, tiki huts, and more. It's a beautiful hotel. There are several different rooms to choose from at Ferro Blanco. This is a double queen room and has a large seating area that can double for extra sleep space. The hotel is dog friendly and you will meet furry friends aplenty. The rooms are large and they have everything you need, but we're not here for the rooms. Faro Blanco is known for its outdoor amenities, including lawn games like large chess, mini golf, and Jenga. It's so much fun, so we're gonna go check that out. This is the first of two pools on the property. It is shaded and away from the other amenities, so may be perfect if you want to enjoy some peace away from all the action. The grounds are very beautiful. I love all the things for the outdoor activities. They have events. The Lighthouse Grill is well known in the area for its waterfront dining featuring fresh seafood, a curated menu, and a full bar with crafted cocktails and local drafts alike. We have, we have cookies. Those are like our cookies. This is like Harbor Walk in the Keys. It was private. It was ours. <laughs> okay, too much. It's Jenga. And then it's next four. I have music. Oh, let's get a golf cart. Faro Blanco's famous lighthouse was believed to be built in 1950 and designed by Les Barrett. It was a working lighthouse until it was damaged in 1960 by Hurricane Donna. It was repaired until 2005 when it was damaged beyond repair by Hurricane Wilma. The property was condemned, but rebuilt by Spotswood Company and reopened in January 2015. It added the 125 room hotel, full service marina, and the lighthouse serves as an office for the dockmaster today. Beautiful, those are good finds. Those are indeed parrotfish. Take those a are... picture. Do you bring your phone? Yeah. Those are a school of parrotfish. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Steven. If you're not a professional golfer, you can't throw your club. <laughs> So it is time for us to go check out the pools. The sun has set and it is okay for me to go in the water now that it's not burning hot. I am way too pale and have no intention of, I don't even think I can at this point, but I'm really excited. And I know that they have Ace Pineapple Ale on draft, which is my very favorite. And I was not able to get that with Honk Republic, sadly. Let's have some fun. Ooh, not bad.
The pool's over here, dudes. Right outside the lighthouse grill is a bayside pool. It's right outside the bar. It is the perfect place to enjoy the sunset while having a refreshing cider. I know I will. Faro Blanco does not have life jackets available for children, so you will have to bring your own. Which we forgot to do, because we are used to being spoiled by having them readily available. Faro Blanco has my Ace Pineapple Cider, which I could not find at Conquer Public, which is where I discovered it in my first trip to the place. That's heaven. As you can see, it is a beautiful sunset, and the kids are having a blast, and it's just really nice out here. Well, this is a pretty glorious sunset. I'm not entirely sure if I prefer it to the one at Amore Resort, but it's pretty special on its own. In terms of location, you really can't complain. And Ferro Blanco is truly lovely on so many levels. And we will definitely be back. But until then, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think of this video in the comments, or if there is somewhere you think we should cover next. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more Florida Family Insiders fun. Until next time. The only thing about the keys, and this is something that you can also deal with other places in Florida, including where we live on the Treasure Coast, is nauseums. And I react terribly to nauseums, and they have attacked me mercilessly since the sunset. So, so if you're going to be out by the water in the keys at dusk, might I suggest that you have your DEET ready. It'll help save you some itching. It's gonna itch me for the next... This is the price for paradise, am I right? Ah, so refreshing. Go ahead. Go ahead, jump. Good job. You're gonna be known for jumping. Does he do anything but jump? Jesus, that guy.